Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the original local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing another live show at Backstage Bar and Billiards, or Triple B as the locals call it. This one has all local acts, featuring No Etiquette, Prawn Queen, Jexera, Worldwide Panic, Haddonfield, and Madzilla, who have been on the channel before. With a lineup like that, this ought to be one for the record books. Grab your keys, because we're headed downtown to the Room 6 Mobile! This video is brought to you by U-Gears. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Situated next door to their bigger venue space, Fremont Country Club, and located on 6th Street and Fremont, just down the road from the Fremont Street Experience, Backstage Bar and Billiards is a live venue renowned for some awesome live shows. You can check out my review of the venue once you're done here. Speaking of which, if you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, Hit me up using the Room 6 email address down in the description. That's also where you'll find the Room 6 social media link full of ways to find me online, support the channel, and more. While you're down there, feel free to subscribe, like, and share to help Room 6 grow. Thanks! Kicking things off were No Etiquette, a band that brought multiple elements like thrash metal and fast punk together to make a sound all their own. From swapping instruments around to everyone taking turns singing lead, their set kept the audience guessing and bang in their heads. It was a great way to start out the night. The next act on stage was Prawn Queen, a three-piece band that focused on straight-ahead rock. Prawn Queen's sound was a blend of Soundgarden mixed with shades of Nirvana. They left everything on the stage, and the crowd loved them for it. Up next was Jexera, a five-piece band that immediately cranked things up to 11. The crowd only grew as their set melted faces. A circle pit opened up as every member did their part and radiated stage presence. Haddonfield were next up to bat, continuing the trend of five-piece bands for the night. Also continuing a trend, the drummer from Jexera is also the drummer for Haddonfield. Their set was brutal but tight, sounding at times atmospheric and at others straight-ahead thrash. Like every other act at this event, you never knew what was coming next, and it was great. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know what I love most about things like guitars? The engineering. All these parts separately do nothing but, together, they make something capable of inspiring and motivating creative thought and emotional content. We need emotional content. That's why I love U-Gears. Their amazing 3D self-assembly models are fun to assemble as well as educational. They can also serve as decorative pieces. Although the kits come with clear step-by-step -step instruction, they can also be used as puzzles. Inspired by steampunk fantasy, there's a clear view of all the moving components, including gears and pendulums, and it creates a unique, unforgettable, and fascinating look at everyday, and not so everyday, machinery. To top it all off, 10% of every purchase is being donated to the people of Ukraine who have been affected by the current conflict. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your order. Just enter coupon code SHOP10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to you, Gears, for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show, shall we? Coming up next was Worldwide Panic, a three-piece band that managed to sound a lot bigger. With melodic hard rock and metal elements, not to mention a little electronica mixed in for some depth and subtones, they surprised everyone with an amazing cover of Alanis Morissette's You Oughta Know. Finishing out the night were Madzilla, once again lighting the stage on fire with their blistering pace and tight technical sound. As usual, everyone brought their A-game and high energy using all of the stage and showing everyone why they were the headlining act. It was an awesome way to end an awesome night, and I'm looking forward to getting these acts on Room 6 for interviews soon. Overall, this show was awesome and full of excellent metal and hard rock. Another solid outing by Madzilla and everyone else on the bill, and I'm so glad I was there to catch it. See you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll check out all the bands down in the description using their social media that I put there. Uh, swing by Triple B or Backstage Bar and Billiards if you're in the area. What else? Oh yeah, like I said, if you want to be on the channel, hit me up. If you want to see more videos like this, please click up there. 
If you want to hear some of my original music, click right over there. It is not metal. And if you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Click up there or ring the bell, you know, make sure you get notified. I really do appreciate every everybody and everything that you do to help the channel um, and help the local scene. So with that, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.